This is a Glock 19. Uh, this is my first Glock. This is the first Glock I've ever touched, uh, much less owned. Uh, this is a Gen 4. This is another reason why I went ahead and bought the Glock. Just because they're not available, uh, the Gen 4s aren't available, and uh, they don't foresee them being available anytime soon in California either. This gun feels very Spartan compared to the other guns. Um, not this. That's not saying that it's not nice feeling. It's different. It's very Spartan. I'm not having a problem with the with the aim angle like most people complain about. It doesn't it doesn't feel awkward. It does feel kind of like I'm aiming down, like angled down. But if I just focus on the sight picture, it feels fine. Um, this gun is not. It doesn't have a an ambidextrous state uh, magazine release, but you can switch it to the other side. It, you just have to. Uh, there are procedures in the manual, but out of the box, it's not like I can give this to my daughter and say here. And you know her being left-handed and her you know with her being able to use either side. You have to kind of configure this gun to, you know, the, the, the magazine release to, to work on the other side. Um, all the other controls are on the, on the other side. It's for right-handers primarily. I have not broken this gun down. Um, and if you notice, when I say Spartan, um, there is no grip safety. There is no manual safety. Um, there is only the trigger safety. Um, the grippiness feels pretty good, and I, I, I can't compare to the, how it's, how, you know, the, the differences in feel and grippiness between this generation and the previous generations, because I had never touched or owned a Gen 3 and below. But, uh, it does feel nice. Yeah, let's do a safety check. There's nothing in the gun. There's no magazine. Okay. There's no front serrations on the gun. Uh, fit and finish seems to be pretty nice. Serial number, several places on the gun. One, two, three. Um, the, uh, the sights are contrast sights. And again, this is a polygon. All three of the guns have rails, yeah, front rails. Um, and let's look at the trigger on getting the trigger on this. Oh, another thing is, you know, on the uh, on the XDM over there, it had the uh, striker indicator. This does not. Not a huge deal. So you can't even feel that it's charged. You know, I guess the assumption is that the striker is charged. It's act. It's enabled. It's ready to fire, right? So we're going to pull this trigger. It feels like it's springy. I feel resistance pushing back against me. And I think, whoops, wow. <clears throat> the trigger probably has to be broken in. So if I go like this, there's take up. There's a wall here. If I pull. I mean, it's not an immediate snap, but it's there. But at the same time, I'm still feeling. Let's let's check out. I'm still feeling like uh, resistance. But uh, let's check the uh, the reset. It's very solid feeling after after it resets. You can you can feel it go thunk, and then you feel the whole you feel the spring go boing. You feel it reverberate through the whole gun. The uh, the reset distance is uh again it's there's a lot of it I don't know if this that's gonna change with this gun but so I just showed you my third striker fire striker fired gun uh, out of the three triggers 
I'm loving my uh, TP9 SA's trigger more. Uh, this comes with three 10 round magazines. The magazines look really nice. Like they're coated in like a, a, a plastic, but you can see metal underneath. It's got the round count on the, on the back. Uh, so I don't have to convert these. I don't have to convert the XDMs as well. Um, back straps. So I was surprised because it came with, it came with uh, two sets of back straps. The regular back straps and the beaver tail back straps. And plus there's all, so there's two of these and there's three of these. Well, there's two of these, but one's, <clears throat> they fit over the top of this. So you don't pop anything out. This, the what's on there now isn't removable. It's molded into the gun, right? So this technically is not a back strap. It's not like uh, the SP2022 and uh, the other guns I have uh, with uh, changeable back straps, uh, like the, the Johnny, the TP9. But uh, I put one of these on uh, last night just as a test. Um, they're a little bit difficult to get off and get on. I don't know if it's a break-in thing or maybe the, the plastic's cold. Um, but it made the gun feel good. It's already kind of like a beaver tail-like thing going on here. Uh, but uh, and the same is it'll take a while to break in. Grease will help too. But with uh, <clears throat> with my with my other two striker fire guns, I can pull the slide back half an inch, inch, and it charges the striker. This one is kind of sticky, but I have a feeling it's because the gun is new. But yeah, um, this comes with all of, the, uh, it comes with the, uh, so three 10 round mags, a mag loader, speed loader, um, a cleaning brush here. It looks like uh, a, there's a rod here where, where it, you know, there's a screw in here threads for this metal, I guess, connector to screw in for this uh, cleaning brush. Cleaning brush looks to have nylon bristles. Not a bad thing, I guess. Not a really cool weapon. There's a big pocket here. Uh, there's a thick manual that it comes with. Um, there's one, two, there's two fire uh, pieces of brass in here for the quality control. I'll leave that alone. I don't really care for those uh, because they could pick, you know, they could have another gun fire that thing and, and just stick stick it in the in the envelope. But that's not really proof that that uh it came from this particular gun. 